Hello everyone. In our previous lecture, we derived the expression for the inductance of a three-phase line with unsymmetrical spacing. Now, in this lecture, we will uh, do two sample numericals which are very important for clearing the concepts. So, uh, it is very important that we uh, understand the concepts involved in these in these two examples. First, I will take the first example. In the next slide, the second example will be taken up. So, uh, what is given in the question? I have to prove that over the length of one transposition cycle of a three phase power line, the total flux linkages of a nearby telephone line are zero. Given that the neutral current is zero, that is either the uh, currents are balanced, that is IA plus IB plus IC is equal to zero or uh, there is no path for the neutral current to flow. We have also uh, to assume that, uh, that the current in the telephone line is zero. Now, here is the scenario I have drawn what is given in the question. The question gives us that th there is a power line with phase A conductor, phase B conductor and phase C conductor. These are the three conductors, phase A conductor, phase B conductor, phase C conductor. And we are also given a nearby transmission line with two conductors T1 and T2. Now this is kind of cross section view. Now I have taken, I have shown this plan view here. These are the three phase conductors A, B, C and this is the complete transposition cycle. In the first cycle, phase A conductor is at the top. In the second part, it is in the middle and in the last part of the transposition cycle, it is at the bottom. Similarly, all the other conductors will take position of every other conductor in the complete cycle. Also, in this figure, I have shown the distances between the power line as well as the telephone line. We can clearly see that uh, let us say this diagram refers to the positions in part A of the or the part 1 of the transposition cycle. So, in part 1 of the transposition cycle, the distance between conductor A and T1 is DA1 and conductor A and T2 is A2, DA2. Similarly, between conductor B and T1, it is DB1 and then it is DB2. Similarly, DC1 and DC2. Now, what will be the distances in the part 2 of the cycle? Simple, uh, whatever the distance which were there for the B, they will be written for A. Since A will be occupying the same position, which B is occupying in part 1 of the cycle. That is, in this part of the cycle, A will be in the same position which was occupied by B in the part 1 of the cycle. So, the distances will simply be the same which were there for the conductor B. That is, now conductor A will come here and distances will still be DB1 and DB2. Similarly, I can write for other conductors. Now, here I have used the formula which we derived in the first lecture of this chapter for inductance of transmission line that is the flux linkages between the two points due to a current carrying conductor. That is, let us say there is a current carrying conductor which is carrying current I and I have to derive the flux linkages between point P1 and P2 and let us say it is D1 and this is D2. Flux linkages were found out to be 2 into 10 is to power minus 7 I natural log D2 by D1. I could have also used the formula which we derived in the lecture number 25 that is the flux linkages of a conductor when it is surrounded by multiple conductors carrying current. 
बट हेयर आई हेव चूजन दि सिंपलर वन द सिंपलर फॉर्मुला सो इन दिस पार्ट वन वट विल बी दी फ्लक्स लिंकेजेस बिटवीन टी वन एंड टी टू ड्यू टू करंट आई ए दैट इज बिटवीन पॉइंट टी वन एंड टी टू ड्यू टू करंट आई ए वट विल बी दी फ्लक्स लिंकेज सिंपली टू इंटू टेन्स पर माइनस सेवन इन टू आई ए एंड द डिस्टेंसिज डी ए टू डिवाइड बाई डी ए वन हेयर डी टू इज डी ए टू डी वन इज डी ए वन सिमिलरली ड्यू टू द करंट आई बी वट आर द फ्लक्स लिंकेज बिटवीन टी वन एंड टी टू सिंपली टू इंटू टेन्स पर माइनस सेवन आई बी नेचर लॉग डी टू बाय डी वन डी बी टू बाय डी बी वन एंड सिमिलरली आई कैन राइट फॉर आई सी ऑल्सो नाउ राइटिंग द सिमिलर एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द फ्लक्स लिंकेज बिटवीन द कंडक्टर्स टी वन एंड टी टू वेन वी आर कंसिडरिंग द पार्ट टू ऑफ द साइकिल ट्रांसपोजिशन साइकिल नाउ as i already told that the conductor a will be occupying the same position which was being occupied the by the conductor b in part 1 of the cycle so da2 will change to db2 da1 will change to db1 similarly this db2 will change to dc2 db1 will change to dc1 i have to do nothing just to increment the name of the variable by 1 now dc2 will change to da2 dc1 will change to da1 i can also verify this expression simply by making a similar diagram and changing the position of a b and c that is a will come here b will come here and c will come here and the distances will be same as given in this diagram now similarly writing this similar expression for the part 3 of the cycle i will get these three expressions now what is left to do to find the average flux linkage between point t1 and t2 in the complete transposition cycle so what is the average just add all the flux linkages and divided by 3 that's it so on summing i will get that you will see that for current ia for current ia there are terms da2 db2 dc2 similarly for current ib there will be terms db2 dc2 da2 means the terms will be similar for the different currents that is this part sorry that is this part will be same for all the currents so this part can be taken out and all the remaining part ia ib ic will get added now we already know that the neutral current is zero that is either the circuit is balanced or there is no path for neutral current then the sum of these current is zero it implies that the total flux linkages between 1 and 2 are zero now for an exercise as a homework uh, i think you should derive the flux linkages of conductor t1 separately by using the formula 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 ia natural log 1 by da1 plus ib natural log 1 by db1 plus ic natural log 1 by dc1 this is in the first part part 1 similarly for part 2 and part 3 i will write this similar expression then the flux linkages of t1 will be found out average flux linkage in the three parts by summing uh, by adding these now similarly we will have to find out the induct uh, the flux linkages of t2 also use, uh, using the similar formula now to find the total flux linkages between t1 and t2 we will have to see for example that a current uh, is there in ib and its direction is uh, outside the plane then the flux linkages due to ib for t1 will be in, in this direction 
but for this it will be uh, for t2 it will, be, it will be in direction opposite to it so the total flux linkages will be delta t1 minus t2 or delta t2 minus t1 in this way the total flux linkages delta t1 2 could be found out and the result will be same equal to 0 this same expression will be arrived at when we will use these formula also so i think you should do uh, this example using these formula as a homework also now coming in the next slide there will be an important corollary of this same example now let's see the second part of the example here what we have been asked we have been asked to show that if instead of power line the telephone line is transposed then show that the flux linkages of the uh, telephone line are zero in one transposition cycle of the telephone line now the tra one transposition cycle of telephone line is known as barrel the figure remains same now i have shown that t1 and t2 can occupy only two position position 1 and position 2 in first part of the cycle t1 will be here and in the second part of the cycle t1 will be here similarly in first part of the cycle t2 will be in position 2 and second part of the cycle the position of t2 will change to position 1 that is there are only two positions possible for t1 and t2 each that is position 1 and position 2 now the distances will remain same so writing the expression for the flux linkage of conductor t1 when it is in position 1 simply can be written by the expression derived in lecture 25 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 i a natural log 1 by d a 1 plus i b natural log 1 by d b 1 plus i c natural log 1 by d c 1 now when in the second part of the cycle t1 goes to position 2 it will come here all the distance will change to da2 db2 and dc2 so we will write the flux linkages of t1 when it is in position 2 simply by psi t12 is equal to 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 ia natural log 1 by da2 ib natural log db2 ic natural log 1 by dc2 Similarly, I will write expression for the flux linkage of conductor T2 when it is in position 2 as well as when it is, it is in position 1 which can be written directly by this expression only. Psi T2, comma T2 is the flux linkage of conductor T2 when it is in position 2 in the part 1 of the transposition cycle which is simply 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 Ia natural log 1 by d a 2 similarly i b natural log 1 by d b 2 similarly i c natural log 1 by d c 2 now when it comes to position 1 all the distances will change to d a 1 d b 1 and d c 1 and the expression will come out to be psi t 2 comma 1 is equal to this now the average flux linkage of t 1 and t 2 in the complete cycle or barrel can be written as psi t1 is equal to psi t11 plus psi t12 divided by 2. Similarly, psi t2 can be written as psi t2 plus psi t1 t21 divided by 2. On adding this and taking the average, I can see that the IA will have term da1 da2, IB will have term db1 db2, IC will have term dc1 dc2 which is simply written here and 2 is taken outside similarly for t2 also ia will have term da2 da1 da2 da1 ib will have term db2 db1 db2 db1 dc2 dc1 will be there in ic same now you can see that the expression for psi t1 and psi t2 are same identical so the total flux linkage is of the telephone line are simply psi t is equal to psi t2 minus psi t1 which are equal to 0. 
now here we can see that we did not need this term i a plus i b plus i c equal to zero it was not required here so we can clearly see that even if the currents are not balanced even if there is some neutral current existing there there is some path available like uh, there is some neutral path available to ground and there is some uh, line to ground fault or uh, there are some triple n harmonics that is the harmonics which are of frequency 3n where n is the fundamental frequency uh, then these can be non-zero even in balance circuit also the triple n harmonics also so it is very beneficial that instead of transposing the power line which is which will be very costly also uh, we should transpose the telephone lines so that the mutual induction effect due to the inductances and the flux linkages uh, do uh, are some are uh, get resultant as zero in the complete barrel or the transposition cycle of the telephone line we can see that in earlier slide in the previous slide that we required ia plus ib plus ic to be zero only then uh, the total flux linkage of the trans, uh, tra the telephone line was zero when power line was being transposed now i already told that ia plus ib plus ic is not equal to zero for triple n harmonics now triple n harmonics have frequency higher than the normal frequency 150 300 hertz and so on so we can see so at some point this frequency will be lying in the audible range so these will create interference in transmission line sorry in telephone lines that's why there is one more reason to transpose the telephone lines in place of the power line so these two example show us the concept of transposition of power line as well as telephone line also this shows the concept how to derive the flux linkages of a circuit due to the current in other circuit in this way uh, these concepts can be used very easily in deriving the inductance or flux linkages between various parts of the circuit also now uh, if you like my video and find it helpful then it is requested that uh, you subscribe and share my channel also and uh, please uh, press the bell icon so that uh, you can get the notifications as and when new videos are uploaded to the channel thank you